Hello, today I'm going to read you a story called Little Wolf and the Giant by Sue Porter. Little Wolf was getting ready to visit his granny. He felt worried. She lived on the other side of a big spooky wood. Are there any giants in the wood? He asked his mum. Of course not, silly, she said as she got the food ready in the basket. Little Wolf set off. But he had only gone a short way when he heard a dreadful noise. <gasps> I know there aren't any giants, he said aloud. But just in case, he speeded up and trotted along at a much quicker pace. Suddenly, he saw a great big rock blocking the path. He didn't slow down at all, but sailed right over the top. Crash! Ah! cried the giant, who didn't notice the rock until he had tripped over it. He had seen it, had he? Little Wolf heard the crash. He didn't dare look. He began to shake and he started to run. Suddenly, he saw a great big hole right in his path. But he didn't slow down at all, but just sailed right over the top of the hole. Look, there he is, landing on the other side. Crash! Ah! cried the giant, who didn't notice the hole until he fell right into it. Oh dear, he doesn't look very happy, does he? Oh no! shrieked the little wolf as he heard the crash. It is a giant. He forced his legs to run faster. Suddenly, he saw a rickety old bridge ahead, but he didn't slow down at all, and he just sailed right over the top. There he is, look, jumping really high. Splash! Ah! cried the giant as the rickety old bridge broke under his weight. Help! screamed the little wolf as he heard the splash close behind him. He looked over his shoulder instead of where he was going and he didn't see the fallen tree blocking little wolf's path. Crash! Ah! Oh! cried little wolf as he tripped and tumbled into the branches. Although he struggled, he was so tightly trapped. Then he could hear the giant's footsteps coming closer and closer. Oh no, thought little wolf. Save me, save me, cried little wolf. But it was too late. A huge pair of hands grabbed him. At last, boomed the big voice of the giant. I have been trying to catch up with you, explained the giant. You have dropped this cake right at the edge of the wood. Oh, f -f 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 thank you, said the little wolf, who was still a bit scared. I thought you were after me. I thought you were going to eat me. Everybody always thinks that, said the giant very sadly. I don't have any friends because I look so scary. Oh, I'll be your friend, replied the little wolf. Come and have tea at Granny's with me. Oh, yes, please, said the giant. Oh, I am so glad you are not scared of giants any more. But I am scared of witches, said the little wolf. Do you think there are any witches in the wood? They set off in the woods, walking in. Of course not, said the giant. I don't think there are. What do you think? Who can you see in the woods? That's the end of the story. Bye bye.